All right, back to Frog and Toad all year. Chapter three, one of Mrs. Spence's favorites, ice cream. Ice cream. One hot summer day, Frog and Toad sat by the pond. I wish we had some sweet cold ice cream, said Frog. What a good idea, said Toad. Wait right here, Frog. I'll be back soon. Toad went to the store. He bought two big ice cream cones. Toad licked one of the cones. Frog likes chocolate best, said Toad, and so do I. Toad walked along the path. A large, soft drop of chocolate ice cream slipped down his arm. This ice cream is melting in the sun, said Toad. Toad walked faster. Many drops of melting ice cream flew through the air. They fell down on Toad's head. I must hurry back. Frog screamed. More and more. The ice cream was melting. It dripped down on Toad's jacket. It splattered on his pants and on his feet. Where is the path? cried Toad. I cannot see. Good Lord, ice cream. Frog sat by the pond, waiting for Toad. A mouse ran by. I just saw something awful, cried the mouse. It was big and brown. Something covered with sticks and leaves is moving this way, cried Squirrel. Here comes a thing with horns, shouted a rabbit. Run for your life. What can it be, asked Frog. What do you think it is? Frog, frog hid behind a rock. He saw the thing coming. It was big and brown. It was covered in sticks and leaves. It had two horns. Frog, cried the thing. Where are you? Good heavens, said Frog. That thing is Toad. Toad fell into the pond. He sank to the bottom and came up again. Drat, said Toad. All of our sweet cold ice cream has washed away. Never mind, said Frog. I know what we could do. Frog and Toad quickly ran back to the store. Then they sat in the shade of a large tree and ate their chocolate ice cream cones together. That was the end of chapter three.